Hi everyone, this is Lucy. For today's recipe, I'm making chicken pot pies. For this recipe, I will be using eight glass heat resistant dessert bowls. To prepare, just simply apply melted butter. As the pie dough, I will be using the Puerto Rican fry bread dough purchased from the supermarket already prepared. I will be using two pieces for each serving portion and to get them ready I will stretch them to make them thinner and to be able to fit them inside the small dish. I will be making eight portions of the pot pies so I will be preparing 16 pieces of the dough. Dusting my working surface with a little bit of flour I stretch them with my rolling pin. Cover the inside of each bowl with a stretch dough. Try to eliminate any air bubbles trapped between the dough and the dish and making sure the edge of the bowl is covered as well. Using a big frying pan on my stove in medium heat, I'm going to melt one stick of butter or eight ounces in which I'm going to saute one diced small onion. Then I'm going to sprinkle a little salt and pepper to the onion. Once the onion is translucent, I'm going to add four mashed garlic cloves, and it can be the paste garlic or the fresh garlic. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of basil and one tablespoon of oregano and three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. Once the flour turns into a paste, I'm going to add two cups of chicken broth. I am stirring constantly until the flour dissolves into the chicken broth. I'm also going to add one cup of heavy cream, or you can use milk. To the white sauce, I'm going to add some chopped mushrooms, about one quarter of a cup. I'm also going to add three small potatoes cut into tiny little pieces so they can cook fast, one quarter of a cup of sweet corn, and then I'm going to add the chicken. I am using a bag of shredded chicken, which is about one pound, or you can cook your own chicken or use leftovers. I am adding the chicken to the white sauce, cover the pot and let it simmer in the lowest temperature for 20 minutes, stirring the mixture two or three times so it won't stick to the bottom of the pot. You can eliminate this step by using cooked potatoes. In about 20 minutes when the potatoes are cooked, the pie filling is complete. In a separate bowl, mix one egg with one tablespoon of water. And now I can start filling the bowls with the chicken mixture. Each portion is about one cup. Then brush the edge of the bowl with the egg mixture. Cover the bowl with a second piece of pastry, pressing the edge together with the bottom portion of the pastry. Make a small slit on the dough to let the air escape, and then trim the excess. Brush each pie with the egg wash, place them on a cookie sheet and bake them in a preheated oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes or until they are golden brown. This recipe came out perfect and of course you can add other vegetables as well to the mixture. I hope you like this video and that you try this recipe soon. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. Also, please feel free to share my recipes with others. 
Come back to see me again. I hope to see you soon. Until my next video, bye bye.